up fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Libera Driver? Libera Driver? I'm not 100% sure how you pronounce it. But this is the Henshin device for Kamen Rider Janu over here. I assume that's how you pronounce that as well. I don't know, romanizations are hard guys. Uh, but you can see up top here we get the driver, we get the Cobra Vi stamp, we get the Kujaku or Peacock Vi stamp. Very, very cool. This was a premium Bandai release, uh, so I just got this in from Toe Collectibles. Very excited to check this one out. Over here on this side, you can see Janu and Lovkov. I think that's, um, again, I'm probably pronouncing all these wrong, and I do apologize, but you can see the driver and the two Vi stamps over on this side. On the bottom, just your usual warnings and whatnot. Nine watch batteries are included, so you don't even need AAA batteries for the driver. It actually comes with batteries, so that's really, really cool. Spinning it around to the back, you just get some really fun pictures here. I love this. It's kind of like a little scrapbook or something like that. I think that's really, really cool. So very fun packaging. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get them out of the box, and we will take a closer look. So here is the driver and the two Vi stamps out of the packaging. It's a pretty basic driver. There's not much going on. You kind of have this fake belt buckle piece here. You have this large module here on the front that just kind of rocks to the side 90 degrees. Uh, not really too much going on on this piece. Here is the battery compartment. That's where you pull the tab out for the batteries. They are included. Uh, and then, of course, it did come with belt straps as well. I don't bother with them because I don't wear these. But two belt pieces and then the little square to fasten them in the back are included in the box. I just didn't bother taking them out because I don't use them. But I love the color scheme. The bright orange and the blue I think looks really, really sharp. I like that quite a bit. But yeah, it's a pretty basic little driver. Let's take a look at the two Vi stamps. First up, we have the Cobra Vi stamp, and we have yet another unique marbling pattern for this one, which is kind of cool. I don't know if we'll see any more in this exact uh, marbling pattern, because this one over here kind of has the same one as like Bata and uh, Spider. So I'm assuming this could also be used by demons if he wanted to, because it's kind of that same marbling pattern as the Vi stamps that go with his driver. But yeah, this one's very unique. You have this kind of like mustard butterscotch color scheme here. Uh, you got the nice uh, metallic blue on the front with the darker translucent blue in the back. You got the metal plate down here with the Cobra. Now for some reason, the button on mine is a little bit more recessed than other uh, Vi stamps. Still works, which is good. But I've noticed, I don't know if other people have run into that, but mine's a little bit more recessed than normal uh, but you got the speakers here of course this is the battery compartment so you pull the tab out there you got your qr code so it says cobra if we hit this underneath so there you go and then next up we have the kujaku or peacock vi stamp Fitting the overall color scheme here with the bright orange and the metallic blue, looking very sharp. And again, we have that marbling pattern. QR code, here's where you pull the tab out, speakers on the side. Sorry, I let that one go on a little bit longer, but I really like that. <laughs> That's really fun. So yeah, two great looking Vi stamps. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and start using them in the driver. All right, so we'll start with Cobra, as that is the main transformation Vi stamp. And you don't actually push this down and then press the stamp in. It just kind of rests on top. So there you go, Kamen Rider Janu. Uh, if you have this on the side like this and you hit the button on the Vi stamp, it doesn't even really matter what Vi stamp you have on, but it'll give you some kind of love cough sounds here. Oh, 
I think that's all of them. I think we're back around there. But that's pretty fun. I think that's really neat. Get a couple of sounds out of there. They don't actually come from the vice stamp. They come from the driver. That's why I said it doesn't matter what vice stamp you have attached. But you have to hit the button on the vice stamp to activate them. So next up, we will go into one of the attacks. We're going to just flip this up and then flip it back down. And then next up, we'll do the same thing, but before we bring it back down, we'll hit the button on the top. So there you go. That's pretty much it for this vice stamp, but I absolutely love that standby music. I think that's absolutely fantastic. So next we will move on to the Kujaku Vice Stamp. So you don't get the full transformation jingle there because it recognizes that it's not Cobra. The vice stamp will say its own name and then you just kind of get some shouting, singing sounds there. And then just for fun, we'll try out Rex just so you can see like what a random vice stamp will do in it. So very similar to the Kajaku vice stamp, just kind of says that same sound. And then you just have the vice stamp say its own name. But you still get those sounds. That's just fun. Next up, we'll try our new vice stamps in the revice driver.
Next up, we'll try them in the two side driver. And now we'll try him out in the Demon's Driver. Next, the Oren Buster 50.
And then last up, the Gundaphone. So as you hear there, same sound for both vice stamps with the gun to phone. So I really like this one a lot. I love the color scheme. It's easy to operate. Both the vice stamps that come with it are great and they have functionality in all the other toys, which is fantastic. Don't really have too much to complain about this one. If anything, I would just say it's a bummer. It's premium Bandai as opposed to a normal retail release, just because it's a little bit more expensive. But, you know, with third riders, you know, sometimes they get into the main line. Sometimes they're premium Bandai. It is what it is. But if you have the means, definitely recommend picking this set up. I really like it a lot. I just kind of appreciate the fact that the driver is very simple to use. Because I don't know about you guys, but sometimes with the Revice driver, when you kind of click it to the side, it doesn't always register. And sometimes it doesn't work out. This is very simple. Load the Vi stamp, turn it to the side, turn it back. There's a lot of great functionality in terms of sound effects. I love the standby music in this thing. I love the transformation jingle. I really got nothing to complain about. This one's fantastic. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.